So today we are celebrating Cinco de Mayo by talking about a festival going on here locally in Shreveport. We're speaking with the owner of El Cabo Verde, Mr. Gabriel. Thank you for joining us. Um, we're super excited. So tell me a little bit about the significance of Cinco de Mayo. Yes, uh, in our culture, Cinco de Mayo, it's a, it's a celebration of the Battle of Puebla. Uh, it was the, the, our Mexican army defeated the French army. And so we celebrate this uh, in the United States. We celebrate more than even uh, Independence Day. So it's a, it's a very significant day here for us in, in, uh, in Louisiana. And you all, are, you all are celebrating by having some fun treats and a festival at your restaurant, correct? Yes, and actually we, we have the festival at uh, one of the parks behind the restaurant. And we're, we're uh, offering food, uh, we have uh, dancers, we have mariachi. Uh, we want to promote some of the culture uh, in this area, our Latino community for our, our members and, and to create awareness of our, of our traditions and, and, and what we eat usually uh, on Cinco de Mayo. Okay, so what do we eat usually on Cinco de Mayo? Usually we can eat, of course, like any other uh, Mexican holiday. For us it's tacos. Okay. Tacos is... It's a, a very, um, obviously if you say tacos, you couldn't say tacos without thinking Mexican food. <laughs> but uh, so we have, we offering uh, for our festival going on now is we have tacos de canasta, which is a very traditional way of preparing a taco. Okay. Uh, we also have a elotes, That's what uh, we have here. Street, uh, street corn, okay. Mexican corn. We're serving that, we're offering that as well. And we have something else uh, called pambazos. Uh, we'll have ice cream, we have fresh waters, we'll have drinks, adult beverages, margaritas. So we have music, we have piñatas, we have everything that you should have at a Mexican party. And all of this already kicked off at 3 o'clock, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, so it's going on right now. I encourage everyone to join us. Uh, kids, we have something for everyone, for the whole family, adults, kids. So we, we, we hope you guys come out and see us. Okay, so tell me about a little bit more about these tacos here. What makes these so special? These are actually made, uh, these tacos are traditionally made with uh, a soft corn tortilla that you soaked okay. in the sauce and then you keep for a very long time warm. So they're, they're actually placed in a canasta, which means basket. So they can sit in the basket for a long time and so the name comes after the, the, the container where we, where you store them. So it's called canasta tacos. It means that they're holding a basket and they keep, you put them together, they stay warm for a long time. And they're very savory. You can make it with potatoes, chicken. There's different flavors, different, different, you can stuff them with different ingredients, just like a, any regular taco. And what are these made with? These are made with corn tortillas, potatoes, and a little chorizo. Okay. So it's it's delicious. We yes. we love to we love to serve something that is not something that's very authentic to to our culture, but also very unique in the area. We don't have anybody in these areas serving that, so you could find it at our festival that's going on right now. Okay. And what about the elote? How common is this? The elotes are very common. They're known as street corn here, and and they're very common in our culture. You can find stands on the streets, you know, vendors selling the street corn. Uh, it's very common. Corn in the Mexican culture is, is very, it's a main source of food mm -hmm. for, for the Mexican culture. So corn is a staple on the table and a tortilla, fresh, and a sort of, uh, you know, a gordita, empanada. You can make different things with the corn. So uh, it's very, very unique to, to our culture. Um, I also wanted to say that, you know, we hope you can join us. Our event, our festival is put on and, and we partner with a nonprofit, RASA. So our proceeds, part of our proceeds will go to RASA as well. Okay, so where is the festival? Just give them the details one more time and it's already kicked off at three. Yes, ma'am. How late does it run? Uh, we're gonna be from, we, we started at three, we we'll run all the way to eight o'clock p.m. And uh, we're, we're welcome there. You're, you're welcome to come and join us. Uh, the address is, uh, it's uh, 1023 Providence Place. Uh, as you drive into Providence Development, there's a big park in the back. We'll be right on your right. You can see us. We'll, 
we'll have signs that says event going on so you can follow the directions. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, Gabriel. thank you. It's a pleasure to be here and thank you for having us. And hopefully they'll see you guys soon.